are listening to the event Santa Cruz radio show on KSQD 90.7 FM. We have, I would say, you know, every week we have great guests. This week, each one of our guests would be like an epic show, and we have three guests. We have Nick Gallant, James Durbin, and Mira Goto. How are you guys doing today? Great. Yeah. Good. So why are you guys here? What are you guys promoting? We really don't know. We don't know. <laughs> the lifestyle of Santa Cruz, oh, of amazing music in Santa Cruz. Um, I feel, I want to get straight, I have a bunch of questions for you, but I want to get straight into it with, with a song. So okay. who who's like, who is going to raise their hand? Who wants to sing? I'll go. Okay, James, what are you going to sing? Is this just your song? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll sing one of mine. Okay, um, what is it? Uh, this song is from my latest album. Put it out last October. Uh, self-written, self Produced, engineered, mixed, and mastered, and self-released in From Homeland? Homeland, yeah. Okay. This song is called Golden State. Nice. Nick, will you accompany me a little bit? Be we'll do a little filling. I would be honored. Feel free to do what some filling. What key are you in? We're in C. All We're right. In C.
that was nailed for sure. Uh, you are listening to KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7, your favorite news Santa Cruz radio station. That was James Durbin, accompanied by Nicolas and Mira Goto. That was Golden State from Homeland, last year's album, right? Came yes. out last year? Yeah. Self produced right here in, in Santa Cruz. Did you actually like make the album here in Santa Cruz? No, so I did most of the writing, probably three quarters of, I'd say. 60% of the writing here. Okay. Uh, and then my wife and kids and I, we were moving out to Nashville. Oh, yeah. And so I completed a lot of the writing on tour with Quiet Riot, um, a couple of the songs I finished writing at our house in Nashville. And then uh, through the whole trip and everything, I secured some endorsements going out there with uh, Recording King Guitars, Lewitt Audio, microphones, and was able to self-produce it. That is crazy. I feel like all three of you, is, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you, you're you all producing so much music at this point. Is it because of technology, because it's easy to do it? Or because like, so, you know, Nick has like three albums coming out at a given time. <laughs> you know, but, no, but he has a new album coming out really soon. But you have, you know, Homeland just came out. Um, you two are working on something together, and we'll talk about soon. And then, of course, you're touring Quiet Riot. Mira, you're like in the studio in Nashville. Constantly. Yeah. Yeah, so, we're stockpiling singles at this point. Is that what it is? It feels like it, because we have to wait to put stuff out, because everybody wants to do things strategically these days, and they're not wrong, but I am hungry to put out some more music. Yeah, is that super tough to like, it's, you know, like, I want the world to hear this song? Yeah, like I finished an album last June, and then it got picked up. I was just about to put it out and it got picked up. And so now it's been, you know, we were getting ready to put out another single and then more people got added to the team. And now I've got this label that I'm working with. And so, you know, they want to do things properly, but to me, you know, that means prolonging even further, but their start date was not that long ago. So really it makes sense from yeah. their point of view. And if I can weigh in, the singles you have put out are awesome. Thank you. So they are. They're good enough to satiate us while we're waiting oh, for the next stuff. <laughs> do, you, do you feel like you just want to get, like, I was talking, James, like, what, were you on the same um, season as Daughtry? No. No, okay. Close no, we it. were on the same plane a couple days ago. Same plane, okay. <laughs> I was talking, I, I happened to be in Las Vegas, and oh, no, we were in the same room, and I was, we were talking, and he was saying that he wishes that he could release a song, like, as soon as he writes it, he wants it to get it out to the world. That's kind of how I am, too. Yeah. And since being independent i mean there's there's i don't i don't necessarily look at rhyme or reason if i'm putting out an album i'll i'll set like a release date okay but i like having like a youtube like i re recorded a, i recorded song. a cover of the pokemon theme <laughs> song which is awesome go to Thank his you. youtube channel and i just told my wife i was like you know i should have put that out a, like two weeks ago when the movie came out like i was gonna oh, yeah. she's like well just put it up on your youtube ch channel and you know your subscribers are, will, will get it and you know, people will find it if they want it, and I'm like, cool. That's that's cool with me. And we did that with a we did, did like a Christmas single last mm -hmm. year, and it's just it's kind of it's it's fun that way. Yeah, yeah. it's fun to just that. put something out. That's you know, like hey, if Beyonce can put an album out on any without given day without letting yeah. anybody know. <laughs> yeah. The difference there Are is like hers is gonna Beyonce? sell a billion copies. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Like, <laughs> maybe 17 people listen to mine in one day, but you know, it's it's still like the satisfaction of like. Yeah. I'm, do, I'm doing this for me and I'm doing this for my fans. That reminds me also of the video you just did recently. That you just did, like, I mean, tell us about the video. You just did, like, on your iPhone? Yeah, so I, uh, I did a lyric video and a traveling video from uh, the car on our drive from Nashville yeah. back to Santa Cruz last week. And um, literally just kind of held up my phone and angled it so that the bottom left corner of the road was always mm -hmm. at the same spot so everything would kind of overlap and um, the car and the view of the screen the whole time is my wife and kids driving in the car and then I've got the cats in the other car so but you did another video just like a few Wait weeks a before the that cats? as well <laughs> didn't you do one where it was like it was almost even in your house kind of like a purplish tone oh yeah yeah so yeah. speaking of always releasing music yeah, I put out another uh, another double singles with my brother in Quiet Riot, Alex Grassi, and uh, we have a band called The New Strange, and we signed a kind of a um, small singles deal yeah. with uh, a label called Golden Robot Records out of Australia, and um, we put out a cover of Benny Mardonis' 1980 That's, classic, it was awesome. Into the Night, as well mm -hmm. as a original song called Tomorrow Never Comes, and uh, we were sitting in our hotel room a couple weeks ago uh, playing a show in Michigan or something. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just bored. I'm looking at my phone anyway. I'm going to film you in the lobby. There's this cool fountain. 
and then I went in my room and I unscrewed the uh, the the lamps, like the bedside lamps. I unscrewed the lampshades, yeah. and then I set them up at this table, and I like did the lighting and and just basically basically filmed a music yeah. video of myself, and just edited it together and and put it up on Instagram. And, and I like the message behind it though. I think you kind of brought out when you shared it is like just do it. Like, you know, you don't have exactly. to have all, you know, thousands of dollars to make a video. It's like, we have so many things at our fingertips that we can just be creative with. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Come, I mean, Nick, but you're, you've actually recorded a full album by yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, can you tell us about this, like this upcoming album? Yeah. And to that point, I... Okay, close I, to the mic. Yeah. And to that point, I, um, we were talking about, you know, filming things on our iPhone. I filmed all, all 10 of these videos for all 10 of these songs in state parks on an iPhone. And, it's amazing how quickly we can just get this done in this day and age. It is. So I'm putting out a record that's at, due out in two weeks called State Park, where I recorded in 10 different state parks across California, 10 songs, one per each park, um, in a van. Uh, and it was a really interesting experience because I've recorded my five records I've done so far in my home studio. Yeah. This forced me both technically to sort of do some things differently, right? You have to have generators or like... How well, that's actually made it really interesting. I did it all on battery power. And oh. so it made it creatively really interesting. It's like, I got to commit to this. Yeah. And then there was factors like, I had this one song that I recorded out in the desert during, and who would have thought I'd be in the middle of a rainstorm in the desert, but it was pouring rain in the desert. And I actually got caught in a flash flood. But for that song, you can hear the rain on top oh, of the roof, cool. but it's beautiful. And you know, it's, there's, there's all sorts of sort of roughness around it, but what's neat is the songs, um, it's a much more vulnerable side of mm. my music because number one, um, I'm, a lot of time I'm in state parks, there's people in a campsite next to me, I've yeah. got to sing quietly, but I'm also just in this little van and I'm not with a full band, which usually on my records is a full band, me yeah. playing everything. It's mostly sort of just me and a guitar, and it's... Um, How's the acoustics in that band? <laughs> <laughs> not amazing, but not horrible. <laughs> You'll be surprised when you hear it that it... You know, you can't tell most of the time that it's recorded in a van, which is So, so June 27th? That's when it comes out? I think that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. That. It's one yeah. day before I go on vacation. Yeah, so... And, and today I'm going to play one of those songs. And um, to the vulnerability point, what's kind of neat, I've... You know, all my music has generally been like... You know, I'm the happiest guy in the room. I'm, I'm very shiny, yeah. stoked. Um, so all these songs that like are a little on the more sad or vulnerable side of things, and that's kind of interesting emotionally to put out into the world. So you're, like every one of your songs, they, they actually mean something. It's not just a, a bunch of words put together, but these are your real feelings and emotions. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Can we play one? I would love to. Okay. Yeah. Okay, which, which one's this? This is called Maybe Tonight. And where did you actually perform this one? Where, yeah. What park? Yeah, so this was recorded in Point Magoo State Park, so just oh, north yeah. of Los Angeles. So most of this is down in Southern California because, okay. you know, as my, my job with Disney, I'm down in, in Cal Southern California two days a week. Uh, this is recorded in Point Magoo State Parks where, they, where the tree frogs are very loud. Um, and this is a song kind of about how um, when you're kind of the rock for maybe your family or the people that love you, Sometimes you need to be supported too, and you need to be held, and so it's, uh, it's called Maybe Tonight. I got a whole lot left to figure out But I'm working on it here I got a whole lot I could shout about I got bags and bags of fear I got worries and anxiety But I'd never let it on How on earth could I be your poster boy If I told you something was wrong Baby tonight I could tell you everything You could listen to me say And really hear me Maybe tonight You could hold me in your arms You could keep me safe from harm Just for a minute Wait 
statues need to stretch sometimes. You know rocks can fall apart. If you could let me in, I'd start to chip away at these walls around your heart. Maybe tonight I could tell you everything. You could listen to me sing and really hear me. Baby, tonight You could hold me in your arms You could keep me safe from home For just for a minute Baby, tonight I know it's so beautiful What you got inside your bones Just let me be a part of what you need Please don't leave me all alone Maybe tonight I could tell you everything You could listen to me say Really hear me Maybe tonight You could hold me in your arms You could keep me safe from harm Just for a minute Maybe tonight yeah. <laughs> nice. Nick Galan accompanied by James Durbin on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. I remember I rode my bike from Burbank all the way out to um, Point Magoo. That was a that was a long trip. Um, before I begin, and so I don't forget, the views and opinions expressed in this program do not necessarily represent those of Natural Bridges. <laughs> Um, media or KSQD staff, volunteers, or underwriter, just myself, Mira, James, and Nick. Okay, you say individually. That right before I'm gonna say one. I know, just Maybe. in case. Well, she I know, you, I know one of your songs you. that you're gonna, you might sing. I have to just be careful. I'll do the radio version. Okay. Um, <laughs> actually, I would love to hear the radio version of one of these songs. But Mira, before we begin, Hi. when did you get up this morning? Um, and where were you when you woke up this I morning? I woke up in Nashville this morning. I woke up at one. That's a country song. I woke up in there. Yeah. I woke up at 1.15 a.m. California time. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So like 3.15 or so. Right? Those time. are the yeah. best flights out of, out of BNA. I guess so. But she's no, good at sleeping, fun. she said. At, on I flights. mean, I'm good at sleeping, yes. But on I had to get plane. good at sleeping on planes. That's what I mean. That, yeah. yeah. Got so, and then you got a cat nap, which is very fitting for you. Nap. I love when you said you had a cat Until nap. Until the cat jumped up on me and meowed in my face. <laughs> so why do you live in like two cities here? Yeah, I live in both towns. Um, I was born and raised here in Santa Cruz, mm -hmm. and my husband lives and works here, and I work in country music. And we're um, periscoping, right? Live yes, right now? we're live on Periscope right okay, now. Okay, so if everybody wants Periscope. to go to Mira Godo's, per how do you go to how do you like go to Periscope? That's through. It's an Twitter. app. Yeah, yeah okay. it's a it's like a free app. Okay. Um, if you go to the app store and download Periscope, you'll see my face on there. Sixty thousand people follow follow you uh, sometimes. Like, um, it's ridiculous amount, right? No, it's close though. No. Okay, Mira, let's, yes. could we, what song are we going to hear today? Um, well, let's do the, the, right. this song's called One Step Closer. I did this and one how the next are, And how are you going to, are you just going to like the one word, you're just going to not say anything during the time? Or is James going to put in a it. word? Okay. We had to change it because I had to record it anyways and like the radio won't, won't oh, play really? certain words. Oh, you did? Okay, I can't so wait to see change the change. It. Okay. All right. <laughs>
That's the clean version. Let that version. be a warning to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is there some like truth to that song? No. How did that come out of? It of came your out cut? of a whiskey bottle. To really? Be, it's the only song to this day I've ever written under the influence. <laughs> it needed a lot of editing in the morning. Okay. But <laughs> yeah. I, love it. I, I know. I, I always I play that song quite a bit. Um, okay. Uh, before I go any further. So what's going on next week? You have all a show coming. All of us are playing a show yeah. next Wednesday. That is a crazy epic show. All three of you at yeah. one place. We're going to be playing at Moe's Alley Wednesday the 19th. Okay. And Nick and James are Gallant Durbin. Yep. Durbin Gallant. Oh, we, we've we've oh, started a band, a, actually. Yeah, we've Durbin. since started a band. Yeah, oh. we've since started a band. It's called uh, Home Re Homeland Revival. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Whatever they want to call themselves. <laughs> so they're going to be, be on at yeah. 8. Yep. yep. And then I'll be on following yeah. them, so that'll be it'll be a really fun show. That is super. Fun. And your sister is going to be there too. Yeah, well, that was a secret. Oh, oh my. <laughs> that's okay. My tiny yeah, sister, she's yeah. the one that got me into singing, and uh, she's going to be flying into town and singing all the harmonies with me for that the night. We're going to do a song cool. together too. So. So if somebody wants to find out about that show, where do they find info? Where do they buy tickets? Any of our websites, hopefully. Okay. And um, also Mo's Alley website. Okay, you can also just go to like Facebook or something. To yeah, there's a go Facebook go. event, yeah. and um, yeah, all of us so have the show. Get, get your tickets. Yeah, yeah. get your pre-sale tickets. Get there at yes. seven thirty. Doors open at seven thirty. Yeah, cool. Yeah, there's only a certain amount of seats that can fill. Like right. three hundred people fit in that spot. So, well, what other song will you be playing that night? Can you play another song for us? I can play another song. Um, <laughs> Let me just check the tune while we're chatting here. You know, the more people that show up to Mo's Alley, then they bring in like the tacos. Oh, really? Like oh, Mo's pre sale? Tacos? Yeah, if there's more people there, then they set up tacos in the back. That's a thing. Okay, yeah. well, okay. if you're leveraging it with tacos, that's good. Because I've been to some real packed shows there. Those are good luck thrift store outfit is shows. Is it snap taco though? Or is yeah, you it. You know what? what I was just thinking we need to get on this. I think it's like grimy. Is that grimy, the after uh, show? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's go to snap. I think we've had it. will probably be shows. closed when this show's over, but you know, yeah. nothing wrong with just going in there and <laughs> whipping up a couple tacos. We need, we need to know some horn section. That's right. We need a horn section. What's next? Okay, what song is this? This is called Nobody Warned Me Yet. This okay. one and, and the last one that I did, hopefully we'll, we're going to be putting these out in the fall. So. Is that like a full album, an EP, or how we're gonna you... we're playing the singles game right now. Okay. Yeah. Until okay. So you know, until I'm Beyonce. Yeah. You're we're not, not that far into off. the. <laughs> Daddy gave me a can of pepper spray He said it's best to be there Mama slipped me a little money She said this ought to get you there They warned me about strangers About living on my own About ups and downs The sights and sounds A thousand do's and don'ts But not about blue eyes And not about a southern draw Nobody 
KSQD Santa Cruz again one of my favorite songs very fittingly let's let's go to PSA time public service announcement local bands and musicians will be taking over the Museum of Art and History at Abbott Square during the first ever Santa Cruz live a day of music music events coming up Saturday July 13th since this is Santa Cruz live it will feature local talented uh, selected by the public it's a chance for you to recognize your favorite band and help them book a slot. To nominate your favorite band, go to the museum's website, Santa Cruz Ma, Santa Cruz Mah.org forward slash live. The deadline for entries is Friday, June 14th. So that is in a couple of days, I think. 48 hours. 48 hours. So you have a cool band that you want to see at the Ma at Abbott Square. Go to the Ma, Santa Cruz Ma.org slash live. Okay, so I have, oh, somebody can say something? I wanted to tell you about that song I just did. Mm -hmm. I got to shoot a music video for that with Impact Creative, who actually, their office is right across the street. You know what, I wanted to connect with them. I love that video. More than happy to. Where was, was that shot like a ago? It was, yeah, all over. We did um, a bit at, what's that club downtown? The only club Santa Cruz has. Catalyst? Like, Catalyst? No, Motive? not the, yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah. So we shot some of it there, we shot some of it in Davenport, and it was yeah. a really cool video. They it hasn't a, come out yet, so it's oh, what's very Oh, what's the other video they did with The one where it's like by a barn. It's like, you just like really... Well, I may have played it for you. Maybe I've seen it. Yeah, because okay. we did the next D stuff. But okay. yeah, as soon as it comes out, I'm I'm very excited to share some of Santa Cruz with the country world. But, um, awesome. but yeah, I'd be more than happy to introduce you to them. They're cool. great people. Okay, so I want to know, I want to ask a question, and I feel like I'm going to probably interrupt um, James and Nick right now. <laughs> but yeah, I want to know about like let's, I'll start off you, Mira. Was there like a song that you feel like you know what I'm super proud of it? Like I cannot believe that came out of my being that I created that song. Is there like is there do you have like a favorite kind of that you're just like that's amazing? Um, I think the cheesy answer that I should give you is that my favorite song is the next song that I'm going to write. Yeah, play. no, and that's, I always hear but, that. But, um, but there was probably something write, a little special. Yeah, I don't write by myself a lot anymore. So I finished a song by myself not that long ago. It's called Before. And that one, to me, was really just something I wanted to say. And I, I was very proud that I got to finish that one by myself. And it, it came together exactly how I wanted to. Yeah. And not only that, people are responding to it the way like more so than I was expecting because I really cool. just kind of wrote it for me yeah and so that was that was a really nice um, gift that that like had returned value yeah. on for me so that's that, super cool that might be a special one how about you or James or Nick is there like a certain song or a certain like you performed live or just somewhere where like man that that just worked I I have a neat story recently that um, it was really crazy um, that this album, this song is not ever going to be on one of my albums, but um, I wrote a song, ended up selling it to Facebook. They're trying to make their music collection yeah. so that they can put music with videos in any territory. Anyway, and it got put in a viral video um, with my name credited in the oh, song. Cool. It was a video of a kid hugging people at a festival. Okay. It got up to 210 million views. Gosh, wow. This was three months ago, and it was both the most bizarre and amazing thing, but also overwhelming, because I all of a sudden got like 75 messages from people in all oh these countries. Goodness. And very soon I realized like, man, I can't respond to all these people. And it made me realize like, okay, I don't want to be famous someday because that'd be hard. <coughs> um, but I'm not worried about it. <laughs> um, but the thing that was so neat is to write a song, which and now I actually didn't even love that song. Now I kind of do, but to know that it touched that many human beings was one of the most yeah. satisfying things of my it's entire so career. It's rewarding, isn't it? Yeah, just because yeah. that's we yeah. we create music because we emotionally connect with these songs. But to know that they would move other human beings, I mean, that's the end goal. And of course, there's the peripheral stuff of money and all that stuff. But um, to know that you made an emotional impact on another human is amazing. So yeah. that was a really neat did thing that, for me. Um, did that song have vocals in it or was it instrumental? It was vocals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, where can, where, like, yeah, where where can, can people you, find yeah. it? Can you post it somewhere that we can find well, it? Well, that's the thing. It, it, this is what's crazy. So I, it, a fan put it up on YouTube and quickly shot up to, you know, 80,000 views wow. of that song. But then Facebook took it down. So I just recently shot a video for this okay. in LA 
and it's going to go up on Facebook. Nice. And then also in conversations about talking about if I can actually create a new version that could go get released somewhere. So, so you will T release it. TBD. Yeah. I will make a big so announcement. May, this may or may not have happened. You can't prove that it <laughs> right, happened. Right, right. <laughs> let's, um, let's hope no one from Facebook is, is listening to this uh, right now. But anyway, it was, it was a neat experience. Isn't that a common like thread in your career that you have these songs or your work is like, it, they don't really know it's Nick Golan, but it's like millions of people have heard it. Like your video Guitar hero. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just telling James the other day, um, because there was a Guitar Hero box in my in my studio, and I remember walking into a Best Buy and seeing a kid playing Guitar Hero. And that's your... He's guitar. playing the song Slow Ride, which I sang on, and I played bass on it, and I played guitar, and here's this kid in front rocking out, and I'm behind him, and he had no idea it was me, and I didn't tell him, and the, the anonymity of that was really sweet, because it was like, oh, I'm affecting this, I'm yeah. stoking this guy out. <laughs> But he doesn't know it's me, and it, yeah, it's been. Wait, so back to so what do you with for? Um, wait, what game was that again? That was Guitar Hero. Guitar so Hero. prior so you to Disney, did I was, music for. I did I did uh, tons of cover songs for Guitar Hero, Rock Band, Dance Dance Revolution, all these rhythm games, and then huh? awesome. that was before. Um, that's when I was doing lots of studio work, and yeah. that was before I was at Disney. And then at Disney has been you know that in spades. You know, I yeah. um, I was on a plane and saw a little kid playing a Cars game listening to my music that I had written and like it's it's um it's been really interesting in that way you hit the nail on the head like so many people have heard my music and don't know it's me and you can still walk around and go to the store and you're still yes. yeah. you don't have to go and yet yeah. right. <laughs> so both of you actually have some Star Wars connections God, so you've done a lot of work, and then recently, James, what did you do with Star Wars? I know well, I Nick, Nick... Uh, I was wondering if that was the connection. Yeah, I had I'd been doing some freelance uh, voiceover work, and he asked me what I'd been up to, and I said, voiceover work? He's like, really? Do you have a demo? I sent him over a demo of like 30 different voices, and... Uh, and said, if I could just, just plug this guy for a second, like, I knew that he could sing amazingly, his voiceover skills are just as good. And it, I mean, it's, it's proof that when people are good with their voices, they just can control them. But I listened to his voiceover and I'm like, holy moly. Well, you can't tell it's James. It's so good. You know, like when I heard, when I heard it, um, I was like, I was waiting for, wait, which one is the, I thought I was like, I was gonna get your like, your James <laughs> essence, but I, I didn't know who it was for a while. Yeah, it's, it's definitely fun. It's fun to portray another character. I mean, that's kind of how I found my, my own character and my own personality. Growing up, I wasn't very social, and uh, I had a really difficult time making eye contact with people. And uh, a teacher, a local teacher, actually, uh, um, a theater teacher named Robin Aronson. Hi, Robin. Um, and I credit her all the time in every interview and every time I'm asked is that uh, she basically told me, like, look, you're on stage, you're playing a character, you maintain eye contact, you connect with an audience. Yes. Play a character. Play your character. Find your so is that character. You? Every night What's you the part you want to be? Each song is a different that's, character. That's me right? yeah. every day of my life. Every every day I have to be on. Like yeah. right now I'm on. I yeah. have to talk. I have but to, you're not always on. Yeah. But no, I'm yeah. not always on. So, yeah. yeah. That is cool. Oh, you know what? I feel like you should be on playing a song. Uh, so, but again, I have it back. You two are doing the album together. Yeah. Uh, and that is coming out when? We have no set release date. It, it the, could, the beauty it could of being be. Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, the beauty of being Beyonce. That's what the album's going to be called at some point. Homeland Revival, the beauty of being Beyonce. We need yeah. to cover a Beyonce song next Wednesday. The three yes, months. there we go. But it will come out at some point. It will, yeah. In the next like, five months or something. Mm -hmm. The songs are done. Uh, Close. Close, yeah. There's, there's a lot. Some are totally finished. What we've been doing is going back and forth across the country. Okay. You know, the next song we'll play, not this one, was. The first one where I sent him a fully produced piece of music, he sent back a fully produced vocal, and all of a sudden, like, okay, that's done. So it's been a really neat process. I haven't recorded it like in the same room. Well, we did a little bit in the same room. Yeah, we did a little bit in the back, same room, but now that I'm back and we're we just get put, back to we it. just put a band together, yeah. and yeah. it's growing, and yeah. you know, it could end up being 10, to 15 be guys in the room. Yeah. yeah, and uh, you know, record it live, horns, and all the live. Okay, so what song is this? This song is called Homeland. Okay. This is uh, we actually wrote this together, and and had a pretty tough decision uh, deciding if I wanted to include it on my Homeland album. Yeah. And I actually ended up not including it on there because I felt like the songs that we wrote together should be highlighted all together. And also my Homeland album, I wanted it to just be selfishly only songs that I'd written. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three.
listening to KSQD Santa Cruz. That was from the to be announced soon band with Nick Gallant and James Durbin. So James, I didn't ask you. I asked when we got them to, but like, is there a certain thing you've created? Actually, I'm gonna ask you. Two, you can ask two different ways. Something you've created, or like a a moment you're like, I can't believe I'm involved in this. Yeah, that would be on American Idol. Uh, I was on season 10, 2011. And we were doing songs for Movies Week. And I was having a rough week just as it was. You know, sometimes being on that show, it's a bit, it can be a, a lot of a power struggle. Um, in what way? In, in the way that you feel like you want to be an artist and let your artistic decisions be, um, you know, the reason that you stay or leave and if somebody else is trying to deter you from making those decisions. So the week before, we had Elton John week. I did an Elton John song, obviously. Uh, the next week, Songs for Movies week, Jimmy Iovine from Interscope Records uh, wanted me to do Pinball Wizard from right. Tommy, sung and portrayed by Elton John. I didn't want to do that. I was like, no, I want to do Sammy Hagar, no, heavy more, metal. More fitting. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And he's like, well, you're going to sound like a Sammy Hagar cubbing copyright. <laughs> and I was like, you know, that's... Fine and dandy, Jimmy, but uh, if I go, I'm going to go down as the captain of my own ship, and I don't yeah. want to be, I'm going to be, if I leave tomorrow, I'm going to be on news programs all day from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. saying, it's Jimmy Iovine's fault. He's the reason <laughs> I'm gone. I blame him 110%. Wait, you actually told Thanks, him that? Thanks, Uncle Jimmy. Yeah, I told him I was going to, oh I goodness. would say that. Okay. And I was like, you know, I, I just, Pretty let, bold. let me sing the damn song, dude. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I've experienced the same thing with John Lennon <laughs> and John Bon Jovi. And I was like, all right, well. Yeah, that puts you in good company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, thank you for listening. Um, so I did that song, and, and I was going through all that stuff. And then um, in the middle of that, which was emotional, uh, I get told by the show's uh, producers that uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation had contacted them, and uh, a little boy, his dying wish was to meet me. And he had a double kidney transplant, and it stunted his growth, and all sorts of stuff. And uh, his name's Cole Quappage, and um, not was is because he's thankfully still still kicking, and um, he's like 18 now. <laughs> it's just wow. ridiculous. Um, but I met him when he was 10, 9, and, but he looked like he was six just because of uh, yeah. his his procedures, and it was the most humbling, rewarding like personal experience like I'm out there doing that for me I did it because I wanted to be a working musician I did it to provide for my family to live my dream and, and all these other things those are all personal things those are all like me that's yeah. for my own self gain but here's somebody that was affected and that kicked off a whole just opened up everything to me to see like okay wait no what I'm doing here is that I'm being open and honest and personal about the struggles that I've gone through wherein that affects all these people that have not had what I didn't have growing up somebody that I could point to and say you know that person's just like me and look at them they're doing it yeah it's they're not letting it stop them and I had that effect on Cole I found I had that effect on so many other people and it pulled me out of being um, getting too cocky from it all and I got real cocky from it all and and it took a good a good strong woman my <laughs> wife Lord Lord have mercy to, to knock me back into shape um, yeah I uh, love but, it that's your like your your instant reaction when I ask you that question I mean because you could have said oh yeah the first time that I like saying like you know come on feel the noise from you know up on stage in front of quiet ride or 30,000 people at the boardwalk or a bunch of stuff but that was what came to your mind that's cool yeah just one one little kid from uh, uh, from Michigan. Yeah. I'm so glad to know that he's still alive. Yeah, that's, yeah, he's Yeah, a, that's he's super a, cool. Yeah. Well, we have like 10 more minutes, and I want two more songs. Okay. So, God, I think James, you, you're... I know, I'm sorry. Nick, you... Um, I did one for My State Park. I think James and I wanted to do two for our new record, yeah, and then yeah. Mira can, can, can we, do the last one. Can we do that here, too? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. This is the first one that we ever uh, worked on together. I didn't know that there was a, a, like an actual word for it. Um, and then somebody told me it was uh, crossfaded. And I was like, oh, I've been crossfaded so many times.
talk about it when you're crossfaded. We ain't gonna fight it, even when it's over Try to talk about it when you're crossfaded Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Yeah, we I just did that, that ending on the fly. Like, like, I'm glad that worked out. <laughs> I'm glad we're both professionals. I know, that, Mira, that is a good point. So like this, you'll be able to hear this on again Wednesday, right? You bet. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll have a, a percussionist and an upright bass player. I saw you have like a whole band yeah. ready like, uh, for uh, rehearsing. I won't be playing this thing, which kind of bothers me out because it's fun to play. Yeah, we're going to play. Bring it, bring it. We'll be rocking that tail. Yeah. yeah, okay, so next Fiddler, Wednesday, uh, Moe's Alley. Be there at 7.30, starts at 8, if enough of you come, then we actually get to have tacos. So It's possible. It, it, there's a chance. I tacos guess we are should possible. sell it as tacos. Taco <laughs> impossible, yeah. yeah. Um, Mira, real fast, I want to ask you, so what is like next in your world after this show? Like, where, what's like, so you have singles coming out, like, recording more, it's like, keep on doing, what, what's, what's new in the Mira Goda's world? Well, more of the same, I think, for a couple more months. and. Contracts take a long time to negotiate and sign. So you're always doing that. So you're like on Instagram, like, hey, I'm going to a meeting. I'm going to record. I yeah. swear, I, I go to more meetings than I play shows. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, called. It's not called the music business for nothing. I guess so. Yeah. Real business. business is a bigger word with more letters. <laughs> <laughs> it takes up more time and space. Okay. It's, it's good though. So we're gonna hear another song for me. Sure. What's um, unless you guys on the fly want to come up with something we could do together. Can we do that? Can we just play along with whatever song yes. you're playing? Yeah. Let's let's do that. Right. Do you wanna? Why don't I try to do? I'll do next life, and yeah. you can try to sing along with that. Play along. <laughs> yeah. So I put out a duet um, in December with uh, an artist named Mark Broussard. Yeah. And uh, that's actually the last single that I put out. So I'm. I was asking these guys if they might want to sing it with me at the show on Wednesday since, you know, Mark's with me. So you guys have actually, all three of you, not played the song together. This is like the first time you're, you're just going to jump on in. I've this never is, heard it this before. This is band practice. This is band practice. Yes. I, didn't check, I, didn't, awesome. I didn't look at the email. Mine is the beers. If you have any beers, we'll start. Oh, right? no, we don't. We can't I don't really know how to have band practice with that beers. I'll, just, awesome. I'll sing my guy part as well, and if you feel like jumping in on any harmonies, go. We'll try. Knock I learned the guitar, wait, but wait. By next week, we're going to okay. Can I join in, too? Absolutely. You bet. Actually, just take the lead, Matthew. Take the lead. If I had a tambourine somewhere. You need to get a little singing. egg shaker, actually. That would be fun. We have you play the nose. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, know. I do have a big enough nose to play that. Uh -huh. Okay, I guess we'll let you do it. I wonder if 
little taste of what you can actually hear live on what is it? What's Wednesday, it? June nineteenth at <laughs> Moe's. Seven thirty. Nick Galan, James Durbin, Mira Godo. Thank you all for coming on Thanks the show today. Us. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah, it's super fun. Thanks.